Does everything seem plain and boring to you? We know a few easy ways of how to change it. My friend's in tears. What's happened? Is Justin Bieber going to marry? Oh no, she's just cutting an onion. You shouldn't cry because of this minor matter. Look, I've got an idea. To protect your eyes from onion vapor while cooking, put on swimming goggles. This prevents the vapors from entering your eyes and you won't tear up while slicing or dicing. Remove the smudged mascara. No more tears. You'll never cry because of an onion ever again. You're fully equipped. Be alert, onion. We're going to have a party. We want everyone to have fun, so there should be lots of sparkly balloons. How to make them sparkle? Put in some glitter. Inflate the balloons. Your party will be unforgettable. To make the glitter spread evenly inside the balloon, try another trick. Use your friend's head. She won't object. Rub the balloon against her hair. When rubbed, the balloon acquires static charge that causes glitter to stick to the balloon. It also prevents it from falling. Now my balloon and your flyaway hairstyle are ready for the party. Does your friend want to stir sugar into tea and gets burnt with a hot spoon handle? If this happens, use this smart hack. If you don't know how to take a spoon, get a clothespin. Put it on the spoon. Stir sugar into tea holding the clothespin and protect your fingers from getting burnt. Put a clothespin on your nose to show a funny platypus. Take amusing selfies, but tame your flyaway hair before taking a photo shoot. Don't panic, we don't need a sad platypus. I know the right hack. If you're out of hairspray, use an old checked trick. Put a few spoons of sugar in a cup. Pour in hot water. Stir it up to let the sugar dissolve. Pour it into a spray bottle. Make sure the liquid sticks to your hands. Spray it onto your friend's hair. Do her hairstyle in a usual way. Sugar will stick to the hair, making her hairstyle smooth and neat. Everybody's ready, let's take a selfie. Are you still combining yoga and cleaning? You deserve something better, Cinderella. For example, my invention, mop sock. Cut a mop pad in half. Hot glue Velcro next to the cutout on each half. Put a sock on your hand and into the pocket on the other end of the pad. Attach the sock heel to the Velcro. You'll be able to take it off easily for washing. Use these smart mop socks to turn your cleaning into rock and roll. Clean the floor dancing. The whole world keeps shining around you. I want to take some sugar, but there seems to be only forks available. What's the discrimination? Where are all the spoons? But I know a life hack. We need a plastic fork. Wrap it around with decorative tape. A pretty spoon's appeared in a heap of disposable forks. It's breaking news of the cutlery world. A fork's turned into a spoon. And here's my friend taking the only spoon available in the kitchen. Do you want to have a drink? Are there no clean cups? Don't worry, take a bell pepper and make a cup. Cut the top from a big bell pepper. Remove the core. Pour in some water. Use the top with the stalk removed as a cap. Put a drinking straw into the hole. In summer, you can use this hack to substitute your regular cups. All you need is to change the vegetables every day. This unusual cup may be a perfect fit for a vegetable smoothie. And the pretty spoon, X fork, will be a perfect match. There are still no clean dishes, but I've got a life hack. It's a smart dishwashing glove. Cut an abrasive part from a sponge. Cut it up into five strips. Trim the soft part to fit your palm. Cut out a hole for your thumb. Hot glue the abrasive strips to the fingers of a rubber glove. Attach the sponge to the palm. Put dishwashing liquid into your glove. Wash the dishes quickly and easily. I've got socks that don't conform to the usual stereotype. They smell gorgeous. Put cotton pads into little Ziploc bags. Add a few drops of essential oils into each. Zip the bags and prick them with a push pin. 
put the smelling bags into your socks. My friend notices an odd thing lying on the shelf. What's this? Socks? On the shelf? Oh, what a sweet fragrance. It must be an air freshener. What a beautiful morning. Coffee in bed and a spot on the t-shirt. Oh heck, it's spoiled or not. To hide the spot on your t-shirt, act drastically. Put it into a bowl. Pour in some coffee to cover the t-shirt. No one will notice the spot. The t-shirt is now of a coffee and milk shade. And it's got a smell of coffee. It's time to have tea, but I can't enjoy it as I've burnt my tongue. Though my friend's got no problem when drinking her tea. What's her secret? She's put in ice. Take a plastic carton of eggs. Clean it thoroughly in advance. Cut off the lid. Pour in some water. Put it in a freezer. Remove the ice easily. Cool down your hot drinks. Use this DIY ice mold to make ice quickly and easily. Meanwhile, cool down your hot tea in a usual old way by blowing on it. Why did you wrap a rubber band around an apple? No, it isn't going to escape. It's our apple hack. Cut an apple in a square shape. Make two parallel cuts, then two cuts crosswise holding the apple with your hand. Remove the middle part easily. If you want to take the apple for a snack, put on a rubber band and keep all the pieces in place. Put the snack into your lunchbox. You can easily remove the core. There's a hole left. My friend liked the idea so much, she leaves me nothing but the core. It's not fair. If your felt tip pens or markers stop drawing, Take little cups. What for? No, we aren't going to collect tears because of this. We want to make the watercolor effect using dried up markers. Put your dried out markers into the cups with water. They'll start coloring the water after a while. Dip your brush and paint with the colored water as if it were a delicate watercolor. One marker seems too dry so it can't color the water. I distract my friend with the phone to take away the useless cup. Okay, all colors are ready. Use dried out markers to paint the world. I know how to paint with candies. I use Skittles instead of paints, unless someone eats them all. Take a handful of Skittles. Put the colored candies on a palette. Use a wet brush to get the candy color. Water dissolves the coloring, which can be used in painting. Taste and paint the rainbow using Skittles candies. But don't lick the brush, better eat the candy. My friend wants to open a bottle. She's going to use her phone as a bottle opener. Stop it! I know a perfect trick. Heat the spout of a plastic bottle above a flame. Open your bottle and enjoy your drink. My friend doesn't understand how I'm going to use the plastic bottle for opening the glass one. I show her my trick. You'll be able to have a drink even if you don't have a bottle opener. Have you broken your compasses? Don't worry, you'll still manage to draw a smooth circle. Let's make compasses from available materials. Isn't your empty paper towel roll of much help? I've got a smart idea. Cut a drinking straw into small parts. Attach them to a flat wooden stick. Put two pencils into the tubes. Hold the one in the center while drawing a smooth circle with the other. Draw differently sized circles using these straw compasses. All you need is to choose the required distance between the straw pieces. I show my friend how my new tool works. She can't cope with it at once. Don't worry, you'll get used to it soon. Be sure to subscribe Give your thumbs up and click the bell to learn lots of new life hacks to make your life easier.